Our first guest has had a long and impressive resume. She is an Emmy award-winning TV host, she is a best-selling cookbook author, and she's a restaurateur. She also happens to be one of my favorite chefs, and I think she sealed the deal on my marriage because of one of her recipes. Her recipes for Italian classics are unbeatable. I make her bolognese sauce regularly, but only when I have five hours to spare because it takes quite a bit of time. Her latest cookbook, though, proves that you don't need tons of spare time to create authentic Italian food. This one is called Lydia's Common Sense Italian Cooking, and we're so excited to welcome Welcome, Chef Lydia Bastianich to Twin Cities Live. Okay. Nice to meet nice you, Lydia. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Pleasure. Thank you. This oh. is so fun to have you here. Good, good. And we're going to do some cooking. See? You don't and mess around. You cook. That's the thing we like about you. Yeah, but today you're going to cook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are we making today, Lydia? You're going to make the uh, ziti with mushrooms and scallions. Very simple, a little ricotta. One of those dishes that in, by the time the pasta cooks, you can get the sauce. Oh, okay. This is good. So put in a little bit of oil. Okay, mm -hmm. oil in the pan. Okay, garlic. Mm -hmm. All of the garlic. Oh, you're big on the garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I like that too. A okay. lot of garlic. Let's toss it in there. Good. Right, right. We can pick up a little bit the temperature here. Mm -hmm. We want to get going. Okay. Crank her up. Okay. Okay. And uh, mushrooms. Okay. Let let the, let the garlic just get hold 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 one hand. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, otherwise it dances around the, 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 the thing. Okay. There's no pressure here. There's like one of the most famous cooks in the world right now is telling me how to cook. I mean, but you, you know, have, you know, you have style. Thank you. You, yeah, you're That's promising. Really a little you're promising. He's promising. Well, Lydia, right? I mean, this is where you're so comfortable. You've been cooking on TV forever, and, and okay. we kind of mentioned before it was like a big fad to have celebrity chefs cooking on TV all the time. This is what you were doing, and your your cooking on TV isn't flashy. It's just. It's Great about, food. You know, for my, uh, what I love about it is that I communicate out there to them yeah. and that they can ultimately make it. Like when I hear that you made the bolognese and they make it come out so good and ultimately uh, maybe even seal the deal, Listen. it makes me feel real good. Aww. Because, you know, you're, you have my flavors at your table. Yeah. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. We talk good. about you all okay. the time. Nice and golden. Throw Ooh. in the mushrooms. Okay, now what kind of mushrooms do we have? Here we have chanterelles and yeah. shiitake and button oh, no. mushrooms. And you know, the more diversify there is, mm -hmm. the better the flavor is. Excellent. But that's not to say that if you have only button mushrooms, then that will be good. A little salt. You a need to put salt. a little salt that's in That's good the too because the wild mushrooms can be a little more expensive. So if you make it stretch a little bit with the button ones. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. So how much is that? A good amount of salt? A little more maybe? Oh, like yeah. a little more. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Because you're going to taste this. So you're going to eat know. this. <laughs> I don't want to okay. mess it up. All right. Okay. Uh, and we would make the bolognese, but it really is five hours long. Yeah. And, that's in, and that's some of the traditional recipes. But this book... It's a little more simple. It's about common sense because mm -hmm. I think one of the most important ingredients in the kitchen is common sense. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, oh, I can't cook. Yes, you, I think most of the people can really cook, sure. you know, yeah. simple. So if you use common sense in the kitchen instead of, you know, just fretting over the recipe, yeah. you're okay. So mm -hmm. it gives them the freedom. What does common sense mean? Like exactly, you know, cutting the mushrooms more or less all about the same size so that they cook at the same temperature. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do that with the other vegetables if you roast them. You know, cut them at the same size yeah. so that they roast at about the same. All of these little things kind of facilitate things in the kitchen and make sense. Yeah. Now, a little chopped rosemary okay. in there. You like rosemary? I love rosemary. That's fresh rosemary oh. that's chopped, you know? Mm, it smells good. Yeah, is, yeah. It, isn't it? And mushrooms and rosemary are so, so good together. Yeah, they go well together. I love rosemary okay. also with roasts, you know, oh, yeah. with roasts. Uh -huh. And, uh, Okay, so the, the, the mushrooms are beginning to wilt. They're concentrating the flavor of this, this the good. pasta. We'll put scallions. Do you use a lot of scallions uh, when you cook? Yeah. They're, the, the, they're like the first thing to get at the farmer's market in the spring, so that's nice. You have the new round. Yeah. They're, they're economical. They're very fresh. Throw the Toss whole thing in. in. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So, Lydia, another cool thing is that your, your TV series goes along with the books, which I think makes it easier for people, especially if you've never cooked before, because you can see it being done, you can see it on the show, exactly. and then you can also pick up the book. But, but you know, uh, 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 Elizabeth, you, I, uh, I'm much more than just about telling them how to cook. Yeah. It's about understanding food. It's uh, about where does food come from? What does food mm -hmm. really mean? Mm -hmm. the, the, it, food, you know, it really identifies you as a yeah. culture. You know, I happen to be Italian. So, uh, you know, when I'm cooking Italian, I, what my grandmother cooked and all that. So food is way beyond just eating. Sure. It's the smells in the house. Oh. You know, they, they say the people, the children, Children won't eat mushroom. Sure. If you cook this in the house, if you just don't open a plastic bag yeah. in the house, mm -hmm. if the smell permeates the house, 
the children will become friends with it. I'm glad you brought up children because I love that part about, about your new cookbook that you talk about how important family is. My daughter and I just made meatballs last night and, and it was probably the best part of the day where we got to spend Aww. time together in the kitchen and that's one of the themes of your cookbook here is to talk about how important it is to spend time with family in the kitchen. Absolutely. Food is a connector. It brings everybody together but especially children. Uh, you see, uh, I think men, you know, I get a lot of businessmen, yes. men, men that go out to work. They love cooking now. They ask questions. They come, yes. they buy the book because it's a way of giving, giving, you know, you come to your family and you cook for them. You mm -hmm. give them, you know, because cooking is really, uh, uh, you're giving love to somebody yeah. besides food. Absolutely. And so, so your, your daughter really, okay, so now strain you want that. To strain the pasta? Strain it good, yeah. Okay, this is good. Okay, these just, pots are amazing. Just flop it in there. I'm gonna flop. Are you ready yeah. for the flop, Chris? Ready to flop. Okay. Oh, you okay. got it. This Chris is makes very it good. Nice. Now I'll, I'll take that. Okay, you okay. take that one. This is and great. And you know another thing, common sense in the kitchen. So now you're thinking about, okay, I'm mixing that. Do I need a little bit more liquid? Take this, just a little pasta water. Oh, okay. Pasta Add water. a little nice. pasta water to that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna toss a little bit, and that's nice and starchy. Yeah, it's it's a uh, but you know if you you could add butter, you could add uh, you're flipping all over the place. You have kind of a small pan here. In your <laughs> you're doing you're doing fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anything do you think? that falls. I'm very you aggressive disease. when I cook. Yeah, yeah. all right. This we'll keep good. you under control. You think your new husband would like that? I think he would love this. Surprise. Absolutely. He's Tell a total mushroom guy, so okay. he like loves it. it. Oh, and right. I gotta find you know I gotta keep up the recipes because once I lured him with the bolognese, you know you right. don't want to bait and switch and then not give him anything after that. You have to continue. You have to continue. Uh, I'm going to mark the recipes that you continue on yes. for, for him. Okay. Okay. We will All right. that. Parsley in there. Put parsley a lot of parsley in. in there. Yep. This is good. Okay. And you have to have seen, oh. Lydia, I mean, since you okay. started cooking on TV. Just, I mean, because I think there was a time when people were out of the kitchen. I mean, people didn't want to do it, and now people are so much more into it. Yeah, because, you know, there's all kinds of problems. The obesity problem, uh, the, the flavor problem, yeah. uh, you know. This goes in? Yeah, kind of kind, kind of not eating together. Okay, that, that really mixed it, mixed it well all over, okay? Okay. And that will create a little sauce, and if you need a little bit more liquid, Put a little yeah. bit of the pasta Maybe water. What are you feeling? More. What is your common just sense telling you? My what common is... sense says just a tad bit more liquid. Okay. okay. Get in the corners, too. What is, not yep. just the center. Sorry. Yeah, it's get all the, pan, all the pasta. This pan is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. You Here, know, you're I'll doing a great more. job. You're really you doing really a great are. job. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. You this have, is so good. You have, you have that. Yeah, you know, you're kind of a little aggressive about it, but you're having, yeah. Mushrooms. <laughs> These are flying everywhere. Okay, but look how good it looks. Oh, this is good. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll put some 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 cheese. Okay. Okay. This is Parmesan. Is this all this or some of it? Uh, it's whatever you like. At this well, point, whatever you like. At this point, let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Lydia's okay. only here once. Right. All right. Let's just do it, and then we're gonna get to serve it up. And you brought yeah. us some other amazingly beautiful dishes. Well, you see, this is a great. So you you have this pasta dish, which is very flavorful. Yeah. Now you have the mushrooms, but you can add to this. Chicken, yeah. shredded chicken, so you can add proteins. Mm -hmm. You can add shrimp, shrimp to it. Yeah. Uh, you shrimp see, I, I think it looks good. You can shut the fire yeah. off. I think you're finished. You know. This is it's, great. Does it good? And you have your tasting. You have My your taste. sore. I don't know how you do this. Oh for a come on! <laughs> you have your taste. Uh, oh, that's it. you guys. Dish it, up. dish it out here oh. and taste them. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Yeah, let's relocate this. So you have so here. Toasty. You have the plate of pasta. Mm -hmm. A nice salad of carrots and apples. You know, winter comes, you don't always have your green salads. Yeah. And uh, okay. so, you know, what, what, you go in the refrigerator, you I'd have apples. I'd be honored if you would try some of my <gasps> Oh, food. you know, oh. I'm gonna go right in here. I yeah, don't mind here. eating from the pot. Oh, okay. good. I am uh -huh. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you how you did. Mm. Oh, I really like that. That's good, that parsley's fresh. Mm. Sauce is really light. Good. The, the salt, is mm. enough salt for you? I would mean, go maybe go a little more salt. I yeah. can go a little heavier on you the see, salt too. Tasting is very important. Your yeah. common sense of tasting. Had you tasted, before you served it, had you tasted that you would have known that. That's so true. you add a little bit of uh, salt. So you know, just intuitively, these are the common sense in the kitchen that really make a difference. Lydia, it's so fun to have you here. Thank you so much. Please oh. come back and see us again. This my is like pleasure. a dream realized Okay, to my you. pleasure, okay. So, so we have Lydia's recipe and a link to buy her new cookbook. Go to TwinCitiesLive.com mm. and click on food. Still to come, Emily is visiting a pretty interesting business. You don't think I was going to read that part? I thought you were just had your mouth full. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging out at a still water company that actually tests the way things smell. All sorts of products. And I'm going to see how they actually do this.